Hilary, it's great to have you on the show today. And I want to start with the numbers we saw out of Cal Bank. It's earnings season in Ghana as well. And very, very positive numbers from Cal Bank. How has the market reacted to those? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the market has reacted very positively to the result of Cal Bank. Uh, they produced a very strong and uh, outstanding result, which was actually above uh, our expectations. Uh, we, the bank grew its uh, top line by about 59 percent. Uh, that's against our expectation of about uh, 30 percent. Uh, mainly, uh, the the bank was very active in it, growing its uh, SME and private sector. And they also managed to, you know, do some exploitations in the downstream oil sector. Mm. We are very confident that uh, in the remaining quarters, the bank will continue to produce this kind of performance. Uh, bottom line, they grew it to about 245 cents to about 19 million Ghana CDs. Right. And uh, within, within a space of about uh, less than two weeks, uh, the bank uh, made a, a, a capital gain of about uh, 19 percent. Okay, but it seems the share price hasn't reacted aggressively after th those numbers were released. But we so have seen a lot of we've seen a lot of volumes going through the market uh, after the the the, the, the result. Uh, last last month, I mean, it was an expectation. So last month, uh, like the, it was the most actively traded stock, uh, accounting for about uh, twenty six percent of total value traded. Hmm. All right, let's move on though to Aluworks, and I hear I'm hearing they are proposing a rights issue, um, some um, suggestions that it may not be successful, even though the management is quite optimistic that they will raise ten, at least 10 million um, Ghanaian cities. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they, they are looking to raise about 10 million come November. But looking at the timing uh, and, and the stock itself, uh, some analysts are of the opinion that, uh, that the, 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 the company will not be able to make the 10 million, but the management is very confident that uh, that will be met. Uh, but most of us are doubtful. Looking at the time, and next, uh, I mean, the, the, the next month will be an election month, and uh, we think uh, there's going to be a slowdown in trading activity around that time. All right, very quickly, if you can just wrap this up for us. Your outlook for the market um, over the next few weeks, we've seen the market recover a little bit over the last few weeks. Do you think this momentum could be sustained? I think so. Uh, we're looking at uh, counters such as ETI, Ghana Oil, GCB, and Finlock to also continue to uh, positively trade uh, higher volumes in the coming weeks. And we can see um, positive outlook for some stocks such as uh, Finlock, uh, Ghana Oil, and uh, GCB. All right. Thank you for joining us. That was Hilary Lamote, a stockbroker with New World Renaissance, giving us an update on the Ghanaian market.